welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorite must-have items for your closet. I have been asked to make a video like this for quite some time. What a better way to use it in a YouTube video because I can explain a little bit more about like my shopping process. Different staples can be really good for your closet, allow you to mix and match multiple different outfits. Not gonna be trying on outfits just for the sake of time, but what I am gonna show you is just some of my recent finds and picks, winter 2023, and a lot of these you can still find. I have them all linked in the description below so that way you can click and shop for like top things that I just grab anytime I want to get dressed. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna talk about my outfit. First up, I have these cargo pants from Zara. I look for in a cargo pant is high-waistedness, like straight leg bottom. You guys see me this far? Hi. I have a light army green pair, but they're actually in one of these laundry baskets that I have on the floor right now, like a charcoal. I would also say a lot of creams and like very soft neutral colors. Not khaki, but more on like the cream side it would be really pretty. If you are new to any of like my Instagram or TikTok, you'll notice that I wear a lot of graphic tees. I recently got from Pink Lily and graphic tees just about anywhere. I also love to just like tuck them into like do a bra tuck um, or just like a little front tuck like this. Next, I wanna talk about casual everyday tops that you can add to your wardrobe no matter what your style is. I have been loving these corded tops from Pink Lily colors and they're like such a fun of anything. The other day I was wearing it with these cargo pants, this blue one with the cargo pants. I've worn them with jeans, I've worn them with sweats. They're just so mix and match versatile. Next one are these thick tops from Carly G in Los Angeles, a charcoal gray, and I love the scoop neck on it. They also have just like a good fitted length all the way to the bottom so you can tuck it in. Your stomach's not gonna be showing. Sometimes that is like my biggest <laughs> downfall. How my tummy will start showing all the time. Here with just about anything, skirts, go underneath the dress, jeans, or like lounge pants. They're gonna look good with anything. The next thing that I think is important to invest in no matter what season, because this can last all season, is a white button down. My favorite, it's from Splendid LA. Yes, it is a little bit more of an investment, but I can assure you that it's gonna be well worth the investment because I have worn this in spring, fall, summer, winter, and I have worn this with, like during the winter time, what I do is I pair it with this gray Zara vest, which I'll get to in a second, but I have paired this with that vest and sweatpants. I have worn this open, like as like a little cover up with my bathing suit underneath it. I have worn it with jeans. I've worn it on date night. I've worn it to church. I mean, you can, the options are endless. And what I like about this one is that it is a little bit flowier at the bottom and it kind of has like that high low effect with the front being shorter and the back having that like little tail at the bottom. I really recommend a good white button down in your closet. So I went with a gray vest because like I said, a lot of the color tones that I use are a little bit more like full and some like fun colors. This with white button down, other shorts, you can wear jeans. I've even worn it all by itself before too. So that's another option. Absolute favorite bodysuit. It is from Pink Lily. I love how soft it is. The neckline is so pretty. It's date night to class. You can wear this to work. The love about this bodysuit is that it doesn't like hurt to button it because it's not too short. Does that make sense? So like if you're a tall girly or you have a long abdomen this is such a great bodysuit because I have like extra room I'm pretty short to torso and I'm pretty short just in general but like I don't have to untuck it or like not button it at all just because of the length of the bodysuit such a good bodysuit Zara has like the best basics to build your wardrobe but this is just a basic white tee from Zara it does have like a little bit more of like a slinky feel to it it's not like a starchy white tee which I used to have one from them, but they stopped making them. This hits right at like the belly button. It is a little bit shorter, but what I wear this mostly with, the Tia jumpsuit, I wear this with a gray vest. I've worn this so many different ways. So a good white baby tee can go a long way. Boots and Jeans Boutique. This is a green, like, sweetheart neck with the ruched detailing in the center and it's such a pretty color and it also looks great with jeans you could wear it with like fancier pants bodysuit from lulu's also worn this to bible study with cargo pants i love looking at different necklines as well as like details and texture and texture like texture can make your outfit just stand out like i said these are both also from lulu's 
same exact heart net like neckline it does have a tiny bit of a puff sleeve it's not like overly puffed oh this top from Lulu's it's like a ruched detailing in the front and also like sheer sleeves my personal style would have to be like fun flirty colorful feminine that, that's my personal style oh and a little bit of like edgy like I love to add in a little bit of edginess so Allison Bornstein she's on TikTok if you're not sure what your personal style is I highly recommend like binge listening to all of her TikTok videos. I'll put her TikTok in the description for you. Once you understand your own personal style, it's going to do wonders for your wardrobe. These have been the top three jackets that I have pulled from my closet in the last month. A brown houndstooth blazer from Lulu's with dresses. You can wear it with like a white t-shirt and denim. The cutest look is with like a hoodie, hoodie underneath and then some jeans. So cute, it's super trending right now. Brown look better because I wear more neutrals and like lighter tone colors versus black. So if you have more like blacks and neutrals, maybe you could go with like a black blazer. Ultra mini puffer from Abercrombie. Abercrombie has great sales. This is definitely an item. Jeans and a puffer is such a great purchase from Abercrombie. So when they do have a sale, make sure you buy this ultra mini puffer. It is a little bit more cropped but it's even cute with like your workout clothes. And what I love about these is that they have like a fleece lining on the inside so your hands can stay nice, soft, and warm. Our jacket is this like crop bomber jacket. It has like the ribbing detail right here. Fluffy and white. It's kind of crazy with wearing it with kids, but like I could even wear this. This would be my favorite jacket. It's from Target. I would wear it with cargo pants, this graphic tee. I have also worn it with like a bodysuit, gray sweatpants, and this. I think the biggest fashion advice I've ever gotten is pairing like staple items with unexpected outfits. The other day I wore like these denim jeans with like a very like, basic white shirt with this black sparkly purse from Target. I also wear my Ugg Taz slippers and you really just set yourself apart from everybody else. Here are all the pant options that I grab on a regular basis. It can be worn like for date night, going shopping, running errands day to day around the house. Let me show you. It's a 90 straight ultra high rise. These are the Curve Love denim. What I've noticed about the Curve Love is that they are tighter around the waist. The size is up in the Curve Love on, at Abercrombie, but I always size down. They're normal. If you're choosing a distressed denim, what you want to look for is either like one rip in the knee or two rips that are like identical rips in both knees. Distressed look is a little bit on its way out, but if that's all that you have right now, that's completely okay. Like sometimes some of my favorite pants aren't even in style and I could care less. So this is in, this is out. Like if you love something, just continue to wear it. Like your personal happiness and peace is way more important. I also highly recommend that's great for date night or even just like casual outfit. A pair of vegan leather pants. These are also from Abercrombie. These are also the 90 straight ultra high rise. So this is the same exact fit as those jeans. I would say that these read a little bit smaller. So I would size up in a pair of pants like this, but you can pair this with like a graphic tee or you can pair this with like a little bit more fancy like velvet top with like a sweetheart neckline get fancy with it or you can dress it down. Picking to black, these are the Ribcage Straight Ankle by Levi. They have a little bit more of like, rather than like a straight black wash, they are a little bit more faded. Just go well with everything. Pair these with like darker looking tops. These are these Zara 90s full length denim. So I'm telling you guys about these, but I don't even know if they make them. They are one of my favorite pairs of jeans. A little bit more of like a straight flare and they have a slit in the side. You can make slits in all of your jeans. I think that it's just a fun way to like differentiate like different denim. These are high-waisted. I love Zara, but the Zara denim, what I highly recommend is make sure that you look to see like if it's rigid denim, you want to size up. Their rigid denim runs so small that like it turns into standing jeans only versus like sitting jeans. Okay, so these are my absolute favorite shoes that I wear with just about everything. A pair of Golden Goose tennis shoes. These a few years ago and they were a gift to me. I absolutely love these shoes. These are the Francie ones. For them for the first time, I was like, now I know why people spend so much money on them because they just feel like a different shoe. Like I cannot explain to you they're just so structured and comfortable and I've had them for so many years and I still think they look really good. I'm with like everything. Anything are my Ugg 
has platform slippers with a lot of different looks. You can wear them, they're like unlimited. You can wear them with just about any outfit. White platform Converse, I think that they get cuter and cuter the dirtier they get with like anything. Dresses, skirts, pants, jeans. My next tennis shoe, I wear a lot of tennis shoes. I'm a mom. Are my, these are like the ultra platform, old school vans and they're like in that like leather they're black i think a black pair of vans just is super cute like this would actually be a really cute outfit it'd be cute maybe i'll wear the vans today <laughs> great options both the same boot they are from lulu's i would wear them with like denim looks and our like lighter colored dresses i have worn these with black denim i have worn them with skirts like darker colored skirts especially if they're a mid length skirt like that just speaks so much fashion and style so heel is not that tall but there is like a little bit of a heel i hope this helps you whenever you're deciding your wardrobe find your personal style i hope that this video just inspires you let me know in the comments what i should do next as far as like outfit and styling goes i'm also going to continue on with the lifestyle content for watching bye